So the next step then, the next part, you just put them on like normal. And just make sure that you know that the membrane is really in behind. And now you have a situation if you get rain or anything on, on top of it, it flows off the board onto the membrane, onto your bitumen pad, into the gutter. So taping those. You can use uh, the Vana tape, the Tescon Vana Pro Climber tape. It is important that if you, whether you do air tightness or weather tightness or whether you do inside outside, always give them a good squeeze. Really rub them on. And the best is ecological building systems. They give you those plastic. Uh, spatulas with every box of tape. But the initial pressure on it is important to get a good bond Oops. and eventually along the ceiling. So that's the, that's the start really. Now for installing it, it is actually it's actually not important that they meet at the rafters from a certain thickness on. So that you can just lay them out and if you have a joint in between the rafters, you just keep going. They're strong enough. Your TNG for the TNG. Yeah. So it, so the TNG does you know it doesn't have to meet there, which makes it really easy. Like yeah, if yeah. it was the case that you had to to meet at the rafters, that's pretty much a nightmare. Yeah, but you basically you just start one side, keep going, lay the boards, bang, 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 bang. Cut it at the end, use the off cut as the new starter, start yeah. and keep going. The overlaps, like from the joints, they should be 300 mm -hmm. apart. So don't go closer than mm -hmm. 300. But everything that's 300 is fine. And um, there were sites where they've done the 200 square meter roof, it was relatively easy, straightforward. But I did it in two days. You know, what makes it complicated is if you have a lot of dormers, a lot of different angles, valleys, hips, and so on and so forth. But you know, the 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 the, the roof I'm talking about was an L shape, like a simple L. So for areas like areas like around the chimney and so on, I do like to actually cut the angles as well. Just make sure you have, you know, you're not leaving any gaps or, or stuff like. So if you do your first job, you might, you might need to get a little bit used to it, just the way you handle them. And as uh, Uli said, you know, don't grab them here at the corners and break them off and stuff like so. Just be a bit, little bit careful. But after a while, it's, it's really easy and it's a pleasure actually yeah, working yeah. with them. Like they don't stink, they don't itch, yeah. they're not too heavy. And um, <coughs> Uli mentioned it in his presentation. You have the dotted line here. And this is the mark where you should bring your, the overlap to. You see, it is unavoidable 
no matter how good you are, you're gonna be a little bit out of line somewhere, like you know. But at least, a, a, as long as you meet the dotted line here, the overlap is safe and watertight. Then it's it's kind of easy little guide, you know. Just check it, bang. Before we put down the buttons, I would like to show a couple of details um, on it. And I always start at the bottom. So, um, like if you do air tightness, it doesn't really matter if a membrane overlaps this way or that way. You know, there's no water, there's no nothing. On a roof, you always start at the bottom and work your way up, no matter what you do. And it's even, even with the taping, I do the same. So if I have taping to do, I wouldn't tape this one here first and then this, but I always start with the bottom part. Mm. And um, here it is easy enough. Um, you know, I would start with actually taping the membrane to whatever face, surface, material you have at the, at the bottom of the dorma. Most of the time it would be something like an OSB board. Um, I just trim that back a bit because I want to miss, I, I, I want to need the, the, the masking tape so that we can have a chance to take it off at a later stage. And leave the tape a little bit longer here. And again, all this used this press fix yoke. So, tape it on. And then for the corners, there's the detail where you, you know, you just cut it this way, bend it over, bend it over, and the next tape then will overlap it. And now we come to a bit of the finer details. Just here. Just this little area here, I can't really tape it. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there. And this is where you use the mastic mentioned by Uli before. So that would be the mastic from Gutex. But uh, Gutex actually stands over, you know, they kind of gave permission or however you call it, you can use the Proclima Orcon glue as well. I show the, the Gutex here. And you know, you would actually seal those. Oops. You would actually seal those little corners there as well. Um, just here, it's not the most important, but at a later stage, we come across that detail again. So I show it here. <coughs> 